This next feature we're going to take a look at here is one that I, I love this feature. I use it quite a bit, but it is one that you do want to be careful of, specifically careful where you use it. Now, the place that I'm going to use it at here, it's great. I'll use it all of the time. But you use it in headers in a list, then you're going to run into issues. And then I'll describe why you could potentially run into issues with this tool. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Put it in the back of your head. I love it. I use it all the time. Just be careful with it. All right. Watch this. So this feature is called Merge and Center. Now we're going to go all the way back to my title here. Remember monthly budget instead of B2. I, I put all of that text there. You can actually see I've got B2 selected. Uh, and you can see that it's up there inside of the uh, formula bar right there. But even though it sits all right there inside of B2, I had to format all of these cells just for aesthetics, right? Just formatting, just to make it look good. But if I click into C2 or D2 or E2 or any of those other cells, the formatting's there, but you'll notice that the text is not inside of that cell. It's just formatting, just to make it look good. So those are still individual cells. Okay. What the merge and center does is we're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six cells, right? B2 to G2, and we're going to merge them all into one big cell and then center that text inside of that area. All right. So first step, I just highlight this, the cells that I want to merge all together with them selected. I'll go to my home tab underneath the alignment section. Here we go right here. Alignment section. We've got the merge and center button. I'll give that a click. Whoop. So it's now taken those six individual cells and it's merged them all together into one and it's centered that text. See that? Very cool. I think it, I think it looks nice, nice and clean. Now we manage one cell. I don't have to worry about formatting six individual cells separately and then managing that, right? It's just one cell that we select and make our edits to. And it's all right there inside the formula bar, monthly budget. That's your merge and center. So remember, you highlight the cells you want to merge together, go to your home tab, underneath alignment, merge and center, done. Now I did say it's great. I use it all the time in scenarios like this right here, titles on a worksheet, but things like a list, like this guy down below, uh, I see people use it, but it can mess it up in the headers or even in the data. Uh, want to be careful of that uh, because when you get into sorting and filtering, then you're really going to run into issues. You can't sort and filter merged cells. Okay? And it can also get in and wreak havoc inside of printing operations as well. So do be careful of it. Titles, great. You're, you're golden. Okay? Try it out. Nice and presentable there. Got a nice title merged across those six cells.